Mr. Chair, a delegation has yet again used this August forum for peddling lies and falsehoods. It is habitual for this delegation to resort to the disinformation and misinformation, including in this forum. This delegation tends to measure the world's largest democracy using similar yardsticks. Real democracies function differently. The people of Jammu and Kashmir turned out in record numbers in the recently concluded free and fair elections. No amount of disinformation and misinformation will change facts on the ground. I urge this delegation to engage more constructively in this forum rather than using it for their divisive political agenda. Thank you, Chair, sir. Allow me to begin by thanking you for the successful 46th session of the Committee of Information in this challenging time. I also thank Under Secretary General Melissa Fleming for her informative briefing on the work of the Department of Global Communications. In today's interconnected world, access to accurate, timely, and impartial information is essential for safeguarding peace, promoting social harmony, and enabling informed decision making. We welcome the Secretary General's our common agenda, which highlights the importance of a global digital compact aimed at promoting shared principles for an open, secure, and inclusive digital future, ensuring the responsible use of digital technologies. As part of the 2024 Summit of the Future, the compact will complement the proposed Global Code of Conduct by fostering trust in public information. Inclusive access to information is essential for fostering trust, accountability, and good governance, guided by the principle of Vasudev Kutumbukam, which means the world is one family. India emphasizes that information must transcend barriers of nationality, gender, religion, or culture. An informed citizenry plays a vital role in combating misinformation, curbing corruption, and holding governments accountable. Al aligned with democratic values, India believes in empowering people through reliable information for the collective progress of humanity. A functioning democracy is dependent on access to information for all people. As one of the few democracies that guarantees the right to information. India's 2015 one, 15 RTI Act empowers every citizen to seek information from public authorities, ensuring transparency and reinforcing democracy. Indian government hold the right of inf information at utmost priority. The RTI framework has enabled effective implementation of various policies and laws, strengthening public trust in governance. Mr. Chair, misinformation and disinformation continue to pose serious risks, undermining trust in public institutions and dividing communities. In addressing these challenges, it is critical to also consider the threat posed by digital fraud. Digital fraud encompasses a range of deceptive activities conducted online that exploit financial, personal, or business information, posing significant threats to individuals, businesses, and national security. To counter these challenges, India has made significant strides in expanding digital access and combating digital fraud. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Communications and Information Technology, established in 2024, has actively addressed digital payment frauds and recommended enhanced security measures. This pro proactive approach reflects India's commitment to ensuring safe, transparent, and reliable digital interactions for its citizens. Between 2017 and 2024, Broadband subscriptions in India increased by 227%, rising from 294.8 million to 964.1 million. Additionally, India's internet economy is projected to grow sixfold, reaching 1 trillion by 2030, driven by e commerce, digital services, and innovative technologies. Initiatives like PM Wani provide affordable public Wi-Fi networks, enhancing internet access and across uh, internet access across the country. Project Bharat Net connects over 
250,000 gram panchayats with high speed broadband ensuring rural communities benefit from digital infrastructure furthermore pradhan mantri gramin digital sakshartha yojana aims to make 6 crore people digitally illiterate by training one person per eligible household promoting digital literacy across rural areas these efforts collectively bridge the digital divide enabling citizens to access accurate information and participate in the digital economy effectively mr chair un peace keeping missions have been at the heart of the united nations since its information since its inception in this regard india appreciates the department's role in spearheading the communication campaign to project the service and sacrifice of the un peacekeepers as well as the contribution of countries who are sending their un uniformed men and women to serve in peacekeeping missions to maintain internal peace and security india is concerned about safety of the un peacekeepers in the field we underscore the importance of this critical issue and urge the dgc to work together with field missions and tailor its communication strategies accordingly to address it maintaining the peacekeeping websites in local languages would be a useful step to further broaden the outreach of this information and achieve the above objective separately as part of its strategic communications india would also like to see greater focus in the remarkable work done in the area of south south cooperation in promoting the sdgs and achieving the agenda to 2030 highlighting such efforts is particularly relevant during the decade of action mr chair we condemn the we commend the dgc for impactful campaigns like verified and act now which have advanced accurate information on climate action and covid 19 helping combat misinformation during critical times we also appreciate dgc's commitment to multilingualism recognizing the importance of communication beyond the six official un languages the successful of the success of un social media accounts in hindi which have gained substantial followings highlights the importance of outreach in diverse languages expanding such efforts will enhance global in inclusivity and foster greater engagement with communities in their native languages reinforcing the un's role as a trusted source of information across cultures india also welcomes the role of un academic impact in building a diverse network of students researchers think tanks and institutions that are generating innovative solutions to global challenges we appreciate unai's efforts in fostering collaboration between the un and these critical stakeholders we acknowledge the news and media division of the dgc for its extensive work in promoting multilingualism i also take this opportunity to thank the division support in commemorating the international day of yoga and helping the global yoga community in promoting the message of yoga to fight social isolation and depression in its significant role in the psychosocial care and rehabilitation during covid-19 pandemic mr chair with financial constraints affecting dgc there is a need to explore innovative ways of resource mobilization beyond regular budgetary allocations especially for content in non official languages india is pleased to collaborate with dgc to develop a model that consolidates news and multimedia content through the un news portal and social media in hindi we look forward to expanding this partnership to enhance the impact and visibility of these efforts globally engagement with member countries to address misinformation during an in infodemic and learning from each other will go a, will go a long way to understand the issues and to find suitable solutions to address the concerns india believes that a transparent timely and trustworthy flow of information furthers democracy and allow our citizens to take informed decisions mr chair a delegation has yet again used this august forum for peddling lies and falsehood it is habitual for this delegation to resort to the disinformation and misinformation including in this forum this delegation tends to measure the world's largest democracy using similar yardsticks however let me be clear real democracies function differently the people of jammu and kashmir 
turned out in record numbers in the recently concluded free and fair elections. No amount of disinformation and misinformation will change facts on the ground. I urge this delegation to engage more constructively in this forum rather than using it for their divisive political agenda. Mr. Chair, let me conclude by assuring you and the Department of Global Communication of India's continuous support to the department's activities and initiatives. We will fight with the virus of misinformation together and deliver a positive and reliable impact for peace and better world. Thank you, Mr. Chair.